Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Pocket Captains present Pickle, Pixel Starships. Pickle Starships, that's funny. So last time we tried this out, we had a situation where we built a ship through a tutorial. But now the tutorial is over and we're on our own. So let's see what we've got here for a level two ship. Now we grab our minerals whenever we get the chance. If we look for the layout, it's not that great a ship, but there's a lot of potential. We have one mining laser to defend us. We have an engine and a reactor, only level one, not much to start with. Let's walk through the features of the ship. The engine, that's used for missile evasion, very important, but not really a lot of missiles going on right now, so I'm not too worried about that. The reactor will power all of our ship, including missiles, lasers, bridge, everything we need. It's important to get our reactors up to date and to defend them. The bridge, if it's man, is used to escape battle. If we get into something and we're in an overhead, that could come in handy. The bedroom determines how many crew members we can have on our ship. Right now we have two. Our, there's our newest crew member, it's the Sheik. We loved him because he has the poison gas ability. In one other ship I had before, I had someone like that and I made a mistake of throwing him away, but not anymore because he comes in really handy for PVP in case we're boarded or if we want to beam over to another ship. He could wipe out a whole room full of crew members. So I personally really love the poison gas ability. If you find somebody with that ability, you hang on to them. Now, when I first get a ship, I don't mess with the layout too much. I like to look at the store and get some idea of what we can get. Now we have no gas, 462 minerals, a little short on resources. We have max out two out of two guys and 125 Starbucks, which I don't want to spend yet. But let's go to the store and see what we can put on our ship at level two. Let's start with resources. Uh, no, we'll start with the shipyard. Now, we're not going to do this yet. It costs 1000 for a ship upgrade. We could do it fairly soon, but I recommend maximizing your ship and getting to know it before you go up levels. Let's go back to the store. Crew. I've looked at that before, and as I said below, if you get Starbucks, you can upgrade and get really good crew. But for now, we can go for standard crew if we need it. Resources. Now, we have mineral miners and gas miners. These are things we're going to really need to upgrade our ship. Now, our weapon is bringing in some minerals, which is okay. But with these resource gatherers, we can do much, much better. That miner added to the minerals we're getting from the weapon really improves our mineral intake. There's our gas intake, which is something we very much need. So I think we should probably get that. Now you notice that it costs minerals to get gas. It also costs us gas to get minerals. And that goes the same for our storage tanks below. But we'll grab the cost of 10 minerals. We're gonna grab that, I think. And there's the 25 gas it would cost to get minerals. We can't do that until we get more gas. We have to start somewhere. I need that storage tank very much. It costs 50 gas. This one we could get right now. We'll get it in a minute. Let's go ahead and get the gas. It is a very big weakness of our ship. We need to plug. Now we could put it anywhere because it isn't an area we have to defend. It doesn't have to be connected to anything. There's several rooms like that. There's our gas. Now it's automatically armored. It doesn't need to be connected to anything. We don't have to defend it. It doesn't need to be armored. But these ones with the little green bars, they are prime areas for attack. They are very key systems for the defense of the ship. They will be attacked. They need to be powered. And when they go down, your ship begins to be destroyed. So they need to be connected. We have to be able to get our men from room to room to defend them. Reactor, especially more than anything else because it powers all the other rooms. So much so that I'm going to put a man in there just to make sure that that room is going to be repaired if anything happens. And that man will take some of the damage if it's ever attacked, which will make the reactor last a little longer. <clears throat> Let's go back to the purchasing area and look at our weapons. Now, there's the miner we have, but there is a turret. Now, it doesn't add that much damage, but in early days, it can make a big difference to the defense of your ship. So, going with that simple mining weapon, it's something we really need. It only costs 100. We've got 466, so let's go ahead and buy that. We'll drop it up there. It's kind of a temporary space. It's not well connected. I mean, you can't really get to that room if you need to, but it'll work for the moment. 
Now in defense, we have an engine, but the shield. It's 150 for the shield. It's very nice. Armor costs five. I see armor put all over ships, especially next to rooms where it doesn't really make a difference, like the gas rooms. But if you put it in rooms next with those rooms with those green bars, it can make all the difference. Security gates placed next to critical rooms can keep enemy intruders from moving freely through your ship because if they try to get through that gate, they'll be squished. So it's really good for defending your ship, especially when you get to a level with teleporters. But right now, I don't see us getting boarded a lot, so I'm not too worried about the gate. So I think the shield excites me more. Support. We appear to have just about everything there, except for the elevator, which we could add later, and I'll show you that. Up, oh, but there's a gym. Now, gym comes in really handy too. So let's let, let's make some room on our ship for some of these things. I love rearranging rooms. It's one of my favorite things to because the right arrangement can make a big difference between victory and defeat. Now, bedroom I don't have to go into, repair it a lot. It doesn't have to be connected to the main flow of the ship, like the gas chamber. The rooms with weapons, reactors, engines, well, they have to be connected so that crewmen can move between them. So right now that laser's on its own, uh, the bridge. I don't need that right now because I don't intend to run away from battle. Now, here she's coming to tell us that we can always put the room back, and we can. You can feel free to safely remove any room you want to, knowing you can just go down to this little house, there it is. You can drag it right back up. There's no cost, no consequence, unless there's a special system installed, which we'll get to later. Now, this is where we keep our guys. Now, this is the doctor we got the last uh, time we played. We had no room for him, and until we upgrade the bedroom, we can't get him in there. And we do want him. But for now, he safely stayed in the storage area. I can't upgrade the bedroom yet because it costs 2500 and my storage, I don't have the storage for it yet. So I need to improve my storage capacity first. Yeah, I've pretty well maxed that out. These gathering rooms can get stored a little bit, but not nearly enough. Now the fill button looks tempting. Don't hit the fill button because that costs Starbucks to refill the chamber. Uh, we don't want to do that. That's very expensive. But the one with the number shows you how much is available on your ship already. Definitely press those buttons with the numbers. When you have multiple rooms with multiple miners, multiple lasers, you don't want to do it by hand, gathering, click, 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 click. If you press that button, it'll find wherever they are on the ship, gather them up automatically. Now, engine, I don't really need that right now. I don't see a lot of missile attacks coming my way at this level, so we can get rid of it and make more room. We got rid of the gas miner, we got uh, the bridge, we got rid of the engine. Let's see if we can add something more interesting now. We'll go to defense. We want that shield, absolutely. Now, it makes the shield a lot tougher but only against laser systems. It doesn't work against missiles. So it provides limited defense, but she approves. I like it. It's a great idea. Now, of course, this will tax my reactor further. I need more juice for my reactor than that. Now, I'm gonna to have to find a way to get more gas that I'm getting from the slow gas miner, and I'll show you that in a minute. Combat is the way to do it. Now, let's see if we can move things around a little bit, make things a little more efficient. It's just, as I said, don't worry about moving them around. Don't make worry about making it perfect. Think of it like sketching. I look at it and think, does that work? Mm, we can do better. Let's move that up. We can make more room below. Move that up. Move this up. Move this up. Now, I'm used to playing this in the iPad, the iPhone. I like playing it wherever I go, but I'm doing it on the Mac now for demonstration reasons. So you might find me, I'm a little clumsy, but this way you can see the mouse and you can see what I'm doing. Up, oh, we have a shield. Excellent. Now we can upgrade that as soon as we get enough minerals, but again, we have a mineral storage problem. So let's go to the store. Oh, there's a Starbucks. Let's grab that. Grab them as they go by. And we'll go to the support. There's a gym. We definitely need that. Now, gyms are really handy because your crewmen are basically untrained. They have no great ability. A gym will give them the ability to improve themselves personally for one-on-one uh, -on -one things. They will run faster. They will last longer. They will fight better individually. Now, later on, you can get an academy, which will help them interface with the ship better for ship weapons and ship shields and ship repair.
But the gym, that's a personal thing. Their own ability to run and stay alive and fight, which will come in very handy when you do get boarded and you go to board other vessels. In defense, we're okay. We'll get armor later when we have a better idea of where we're placing our key rooms. In support of the rooms, this is okay. Weapons, that's all right. Resources. Now, this is what we're down to. We need this pretty badly. We need a mineral storage room. We're going to need a gas storage room because we can afford it. We don't have enough gas yet to get a mineral storage room yet. Now, I'm not keeping this one connected to the elevator. This one I will keep connected. These rooms will save my life, but the gas room isn't going to be critical to battle. Now, you see the elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. It still works. We don't have to. They can crawl between those rooms. And if I want to, I could put armor in that top space, adding extra armor power to both those rooms as a bonus. And I do that frequently, especially when space is tight and I need to add more armor to important systems like reactors and shields. Now, I don't have to worry about that right now for aesthetic reasons only. Let me show you how to put an elevator in. Oh, that's not the right room. Support, there it is. There's the elevator and I'll show you how to add that in. As I said, I didn't have to. I just, for aesthetic reasons, I'm just gonna do that now. Now I have elevators going all the way up to the top. Nobody has to crawl between the rooms. Up, oh, more gas. Now, We've come this far. Let's pause for a minute and consider our next moves. And perhaps from this point on, we should look at upgrading and getting ready for combat. And we'll discuss that in the next episode of Pixel Starships presented by Pocket Captains. Till then, everybody have a great day. Goodbye.